individualism is nobody tells me I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. I'll decide what's right for me. I know how to get myself home. I'll pull myself up by my bootstraps. I'll be the best. And when you radicalize individualism and it starts to fall downstream, you, you, you no longer have any category for mental illness because everything is just personal decision, personal choice, self-identity. So yesterday, Lauren and I were drinking a cup of coffee in our front room um, and we were just talking and I was uh, talking through my sermon and we started to discuss this article. Uh, how many of you are familiar with South by Southwest? So South by Southwest down in Austin, if you ever get a chance to go, uh, it's great music. There's, there's all these kind of forums on kind of culture and life and technology. It's really it's a really cool place in a really cool town. If you ever get an opportunity, I would encourage you to, to go. Um, but in, at South by Southwest this week, there's this forum for a group of people that identify themselves as transhumans. Here's what they mean by that. They believe, they believe that they, to be all that they're meant to be, they, they need to be cyborgs. And here's what they're doing. They're literally having parts of their body taken out and replaced by mechanical robotic machines because they believe that their identity is that they're cyborgs and they'll never be happy until they're cyborgs. Now, now right, that, so as graciously as I can say it, that's a mental illness. And if you're in here and you feel the pull towards transhuman, I, I don't wanna make you feel uncomfortable, or, but I'm telling you, that's a mental illness illness, but we live in the absurdity of our day where the individual self rules all decisions, so we can't even say that's crazy, because then we're what? I mean, we're the, the most unforgivable sin in our age, intolerant. You can't go, no, 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 bro, you're trying to become a robot. You're a bigot. No. I love you. You can come to my house with your robot arm and have dinner with me. I'm saying... You need to get some help. You're broken, right? But we can't say that, right? Even some of you right now, you're just uncomfortable with even what I'm saying. Well, you know, maybe they are supposed to be wrong. Who am I to say, right? This is what happens. Now, again, the sciences are catching up to the Bible. This is from a psychologist named Martin Seligman. I have no idea if he's a Christian or not. This book is about optimism, right? It's not even about, it wasn't a Christian book. It was written about the power of optimism on our neurology, how optimism affects our brains and wires our brains. And here's what he says. Events have occurred that so weakened our commitment to larger entities, things like God, as to leave us almost naked before the ordinary assaults of life. Where can one now turn for identity, for purpose, and for hope? When we need spiritual furniture, we look around and see that all the comfortable leather sofas and stuffed chairs have been removed, and all that's left to sit on is a small, frail folding chair, the self. You, you take God out of the equation, you, you, you take the spiritual life out of the equation, and we no longer have the capacity to define our realities. Uh, like, who are we? What's life about? What am I to do with suffering? Because suffering's real. What am I to do with that? How am I to think about that? How am I to interact in relationships? Well, in individualism, the rule is just, you make the rules. But it can't get us there. It can't get us home. So when Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, this is not, a, and no man comes to the Father, but I mean, this is not a pronouncement of judgment on over half the world. This is an invitation to half of the world to come home. It, think about it. If you're stuck in this, if you're stuck in a type of, I've got to earn, I've got to make it right, I've got to work my way there, and Jesus says, no, 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 that's not the way. This is the way. That's not judgment. That's an invitation home. It's not cruel, it's loving. It's not bigoted, it's gracious. This way home 